Good evening, fellow punters. The clock on the wall says 7.47 on Saturday evening. As I need to mention, it's a bit, a sort of a draughty evening this evening. Bit of mist and uh, the temperature has dropped a few degrees from two days ago. Drop of rain today, you'd have to have the umbrella with you going outdoors or the coat and definitely a cap. We made a few pounds today. Uh, dig it off to a great start with sail away. Absolutely sailing over every fence. Brilliant jumping performance by the grey. And uh, grand SP of 13 to 2. Three mile good ground was the key. I was thinking to that horse. Uh, trained for the race. Done the bizzo. And then went Colonel Mustard in the race after it. The 225 left with a bit too much to do. Looked like it was going to pick up the favourite and winner uh, before two out. Got an easy lead though. Harry Cobden, an easy lead. That's money in the bank always. And we got a good run for about three mile in the Scottish Grand National with under supervision and uh, and of the people. Both were pulled up. Uh, probably the horses that came from behind. It suited. They went off too fast. Great runs from uh, Kitty's Light. We were on that the last day. Probably should have stuck with it, but it hurt tip up in favourites for the that's actually two favourites now that has won the two nationals there recently uh, great run from Flash to Tom Zane we won on that in Galway last October at 12 to 1 and I thought that would need soft to heavy ground uh, to be at its best it was a great run for that and 300 through 5 we backed that a couple of times we backed that and it fell in the first fence in the old Tennessee last when was that last October or November uh, Mount Athos ground was against it I didn't realise it was going to be so soft in Tursk I thought it might be good to soft at worst um, Rick Dalton no good uh, he'd be getting off the bus and Gambe Velace very impressive turn of foot in hock deep ground below in Limerick um, so not a bad Saturday if you, if you make a few pounds on a Saturday not too bad Saturdays can be very difficult um, Frankie, what happened, Frankie? I didn't see the rerun. I didn't see any comments. What happened? Did he jump off or what? Anyway, two for tomorrow. Oh, before I go uh, on, uh, newcomers on the bus, Kev Hill, uh, Shan Kaz, Shan, Shane Cause one, Kevin Quinn. I spotted him there yesterday. I hadn't seen him for a few months. Track Lane. Ron Rod Panhard, Mel Royal, he's in Sunderland, Shea Coleman, Calvin Smith, CH1 Jungle, Robert Cummings, Javelin Jaja or Jaha, and James Patterson, and we had D Man. So all very welcome and thanks for your comments. Um just when I think of it as well, I've two tickets for Punchestown on Tuesday. If anybody wants them, they're free. And I may have a third one. They're just regular. They're 35 euros one. And I may have one as well uh, for the reserved enclosure. Um, I know I know that's under. So just leave it in the comments. And if there's more than one, I can raffle it off or something anyway. But uh, there's two. And I may have another couple for later in the week. Uh, we'll see. I'll try my best. Uh so now I'll get out of the way. Tomorrow, I'm going on the assumption this is good ground. Uh, and Northern Poet is my selection in the three o'clock. There's three of them that's fairly tight in the market. But uh, he beat Highway 103 the last time and in his previous run he beat Tip Top Mountain was pulled up when it uh, was good ground. The key to this horse now is good ground as well. And Tip Top Mountain, if it was soft or heavy, that would be my selection. I always go on the ground. But um, Northern Port, the last day, he was off for a good a good spell there. Um, and he, since he came back, he's two, won two out of three uh, chases. He was off there from February 21. 
to November 22. Uh, but he's consistently running, you know, all right. And this was over course and distance the last day. And he went out in front and he held off uh, Highway 103, who's a pound better off tomorrow. But the fact that it's... Uh, I thought he'd done it well enough the last day. He's out and he's in the lead. He's trying to get away. Has about three lengths in hand over Highway 103 and Pawpaw, who still travel comfortably enough in second and third. And then you are right, Harry, as they race towards the plain one before the open ditch. Northern Poet has the lead over in the lead from Highway 103. In third place is Pawpaw as they reach the open ditch. And this is three from the finish. Northern Poet over in the lead, out to the right. Highway 103 in second, Paul Paul, they are still both poised as they make the final turn. Northern Poet leading. Highway 103 is now being shaken up in second place. Paul Paul races in third as they race round by the railway. Northern Poet strongly driven by James Davis. Highway 103 now being asked to go and close down the leader as they race towards the second last. Northern Poet, Highway 103 and Paul Paul still in there as well. Two from the finish. Highway 103 delivers a challenge to Northern Poet as they head up towards the final fence. Northern Poet digging in. Joined by Highway 103 on the outside. The two of them will have it together at the last. Northern Poet lands narrowly still in the lead. Highway 103 on the outside is now throwing down the challenge. Highway 103, Northern Poet sticking on bravely. Northern Poet just doing enough. Northern Poet held on from Highway 103 in a... He's only three runs over fences. This is his fourth run. I thought there was more room for improvement. Um, he's 11 to 4. Favourite of Tip Top Mountain. That would be the selection if it was soft or heavy. Uh, it likes to go out in front. And then there is the 430 and each way selection in it. The Bold Chady. Would he be answered to the Bold Chady Quill? Is the song. Change of jockey here, and uh, Joe Anderson is riding it, and he is two winners and three seconds, or three places out of seven rides recently. But the key to this horse is three miles goodish ground. Um, when he soft is in the description, not near as good, and he's better at a trip. We look at him here, two, this was two runs back. He's in the back. With the I've the the, the lady in on it here now with with and he gets into all kinds of bother. There's a Danny Gilligan was riding him this day. Mitch Bastian still holding on to Mullinery and the Bold Thady still in rear. Over four out, Shantu Sunset, Barrow Mount slightly impeded by the leader crossing him. Pervino Veritas getting involved in a bit of argy bargy on the inside there as they run towards three from home. Shantu Sunset from Barrow Mount and Allsworth. Pervino Veritas looking for room as Mullinery makes smooth headway through the field. Travada is the first to come off the bridle and in company with Fancy Your Chances, they both drop to the rear of the field. Shantu Sunset with a much reduced lead, leaving the back from Barrow Mount, Allsworth. Pervino Veritas, Mullinery, an unspeakable rounds out the leading half dozen. The bold Thady going strongly is on the heels of the leading six as they level for home, the other two are off the bridle as they come down the hill towards the second last, Shantu Sunset gives way to Barrow Mount, unspeakable all's worth every chance between runners, Pervino Veritas is a close fourth, the bold Thady and Mullinery are on the heels of the leading quartet, going over two out, they've drawn away from long time leader Shantu Sunset, it's unspeakable and all's worth who jumped the last, first and second the bold Thady being produced a challenge on the inside, unspeakable from the bold Thady. They've gone on from Barrow Mount and Allsworth and Mullinery. The bold Thady, ridden chilly with unspeakable rallying near the finish. The bold Thady and unspeakable. It's tight between the two. The bold Thady led briefly, may have been headed. He sort of threw it away. But he's only. The, the, the trip is the question or the thing. And, and if it was soft again, Captain Claude but would be. Uh, the selection but he's not near as good on good ground one and heavy the last time to that two miles three the walk home so 
I thought it was difficult at what do you call it tomorrow at Stratford. Uh, there there's better racing on Monday anyway. So hopefully I'll get a video up tomorrow night. We'll have to see how we the Herton Chokers are coming to the hide tomorrow, four o'clock. We're outsiders were ninety four five to two. So it'll uh, it'd be a big ask for us, but and we haven't bet them in the hide since nineteen ninety. We're we're better in Salt Hill in the last ten years. Uh, bed early tonight there'll be no out out last night until all hours of the night gallon and a half of porter and we're visiting on the way home and tired body today it's great crack when you're at it but it was good porter so today as you drink it so anyone want tickets drop it in the uh, drop in the comment section uh, two tickets for Tuesday uh, just regular tickets but it'll save someone 35 euros in each of them Bash the bookies over and out. Uh, 